Well, the city of Henderson regularly appears on national safest city list, but crime appears to be increasing since the appointment of a new police chief last year. 8 News Now reporter Kristen Drummond sits down with the new leader of the department about the latest data and the community impact. <laughs> Children play at a Henderson park. Tag. Running around under the watchful eye of Annie Nixick. Do you like living in Henderson? I love Henderson. I just think it has a great small town feel. She feels safe, but knows the city continues to evolve. I mean, you have to be aware of the changes, and you know, as the city grows, more people are here, and so you have to still be mindful. Part of the change includes new Henderson Police Chief Letitia Watson, who sat down with me today. It's been a very, very busy year. From all officers now wearing body cameras to implementing new programs like geographic based policing in August. Officers are specifically assigned to geographic areas within an actual community, and they work those particular areas uh, day in and day out. But since her arrival, the department's seen an increase of crime. When you look this year and previous years, the primary driver of crime in the city of Henderson is not violent crime, it's property crime. Violent crime is down, although it may have the appearance or the perception is, is that um, that it's up. While data shows violent crime going down, the number of homicides have increased in the city of Henderson this year. Chief Watson says majority of those are domestic related. And those within someone's home is something that any organization is not going to be able to prevent. Despite her efforts, Henderson resident Joseph Lankowski is concerned about police shooting. I don't know what kind of range she has over her officers because there's been three officer involved shootings already this year. But she plans to prevail and keep Henderson a place to call home for future generations. <laughs> Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now. We can also tell you that Chief Watson says data next year will likely show the impact from her decisions, including geographic policing and community oriented policing.